Hi YouTube, it's your lady Steph, and I'm back with another video. And you may be wondering why am I covering um, my lips and my chin area? Um, before I show you um, uh, this issue that I deal with, um, is rough, okay? It's something that I'm very embarrassed about. Um, I do get facial hair like a man, okay? I'm not a man. I'm 100% woman. I have breasts, ass, born with a ch born with a punani, <laughs> okay? Born with a punani, so I'm not a man. Make sure you thumbs up this video. You know, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, feel free to comment below. Um, what I'm gonna do is show you my face. I'm gonna do a facial, a turmeric facial with um, with clay, Aztec. Uh, clay and um, benzen bentonite clay, my bad. So let me just go ahead and show you my face. So this is what I hide when I make videos, you know what I'm saying? I usually get my chin threaded, okay, when I go to the beauty parlor. And as you can see, this is like, this is it. It's embarrassing. I'm growing a beard. If I keep let it growing, it will keep getting longer. Um, I plan on getting um, electrolysis. For those who don't know what electrolysis is, it's, a, it's like a procedure that basically um, gets rid of your facial hairs permanently. Um, you do have to go on a consistent basis. And right now I can't afford um, to go on a consistent basis. That's why I haven't went yet. Um, they remove the, um, they burn the follicle when you get electrolysis so the hair won't grow back. Um, but you do have to go consistently to see results. So I haven't been yet, and that's part of the reason why um, I still have these hairs, right? Why well, I have the hairs, because I can't afford the actual treatment. Um, so what I'm gonna do is do a facial. I'm gonna show you all how I do my facial, um, get rid of these hairs. I bought um, some, some uh, hair removal cream. Uh, to, to get rid of the hairs temporarily so it won't look so crazy. You know what I'm saying? I would never let my hair grow out because I can't be going out like that looking like a straight dude, you know, a he, she, <laughs> shit like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up this uh, this package from Amazon. Um, if you wanna get this, link in the, link in the description box. Um, this is the V Gel Cream Hair Removal. It's for legs and body, but you can use your face. You can't use it on your face, but I don't think it's really recommended, but if it's strong enough to remove hairs on your legs and on your, um, uh, what is it, on your body, um, it says it gently removes even short, stubborn hair. So I'm gonna be using this. Um, it says long lasting smoothness. So I'm gonna be using this to get rid of my hair. Um, I'm gonna test a little spot out on my face before I actually put the cream all over my face. Um, I'm gonna do my facial again. Let me show you all what I'm gonna be um, using for my facial. So I have the Piona black soap, got this from Amazon too. And then I actually, I actually have the, um, the Bentonite healing clay, the Indian healing clay. Um, this is the uh, world's most powerful facial deep pore cleansing. So I will be cleansing out my pores. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this video. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like, I'm not one of them chicks that be having those extravagant videos, you know, doing facials and, you know, doing all this health and beauty stuff. But I'm gonna try. Um, so, you know, this is raw and uncut. Okay, I don't, I don't have a no makeup. I, I hardly, I don't wear makeup like that. So as you can see, this is my face, okay? I do have wrinkles a little bit. I have the bags, okay? But I'm all natural, like I try to keep it natural. But anyway, um, if you're a person that deals with hirsutism, uh, please, you know what I'm saying, comment below. You know, I'm here to show support, spread awareness about this. You know, there's a lot of black women, okay? And I'm, I'm, I'm speaking for black women like myself, you know, that deal with this, you know what I'm saying? They deal with this issue and, you know, it's hormonal, okay? Went to the doctor, found out I had hirsutism. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this video. 
Um, I'm gonna test one spot and I think I'm gonna test right here. Oh yeah, and I will be using um, this Ancient Cosmetics uh, oil for my skin. This is the, the face serum that I'll be using after I use um, the soap, the, the uh, what is it? The, uh, <laughs> the hair removal cream and uh, the bentonite clay. So I just wanted to let y'all know that as well. All right, so let's get started. All right, so this is the um, the V gel cream. Um, it says uh, for the directions, it says read and follow precautions and directions before use. Do not exceed 10 minutes total application time. Uh, suitable for use on the legs, arms, underarms, and bikini line. This is not suitable for, uh, this is not suitable for use on head, face, eyes, nose, ears, around the anus, da 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 da. But I'm gonna try this on my face to see if it actually helps because according to my research when I read the reviews, it seemed like this is actually stronger um, than the facial cream that I had before. Um, this is the Nair that I usually use. It's trash. It doesn't work. You know, I tried like maybe three applications of this and unfortunately, unfortunately it doesn't work. <sighs> so, um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out. So people, it might work for some people, but it don't work for me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this right here. And, um, let me just go ahead and apply a little bit. Um, on my face. Okay, so I'm gonna put some cream right here on my face. So that's gonna be like my test spot. And um, I'm gonna do this for 10 minutes. And I'll be back when the 10 minutes is up. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. It's been 10 minutes. Um, this is the test area right here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wipe it off right quick and see if some hair comes off. And it's a go, definitely a go. Um, the hair came off, okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this part of my chin, this part of my chin, the rest of my upper lip. And um, I'll be back to, you know, wipe it off. Then I'm gonna do my facial. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of this cream on the areas that I basically just stated, okay? So I'm gonna put it in right here. And this is like the, I think this area on the right, is probably to your left, is the worst area where I have most, a lot of hairs at. So, um, So here we go. Okay, y'all can see where I have it at. Okay. And I know this says, as I've gotten older, the shit is getting worse. So my goal is to get electrolysis, but I researched that if you don't get electrolysis on a regular basis, okay, it's kind of like pointless. So that's why I haven't, um, I haven't even um, actually, you know, called any electrolysis in the area or anything like that. It's on my face and I'll be back in another 10 minutes um, to do the, the facial hair removal. All right, y'all, so it's been 10 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this shit off my face. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start on the left side And look at that, y'all. Y'all see that? That hair came off. You saw it's coming off. It's definitely coming off. Yep, came off. So this stuff is powerful. Hopefully I don't get copyright. All 
All right. Y'all probably hear that Megan the Stallion in the background, big old freak. So I'm, I'm probably gonna do another coat, you know what I'm saying? On my chin and my upper lip. This is probably the wrong thing to use to wipe off my face. As you can see, This shit is the truth. So that's the first coat of uh, paint. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add the second coat. And I'm gonna put it on my face as well. So I'm gonna put some more right here again. I'm gonna do another 10 minutes. Another 10 minutes. You know, this condition sucks. It really does, you know what I'm saying? I hate it, I really hate it. But at least it's manageable, you know what I'm saying? Like, at least it's to the point where, you know, you can get rid of the hair, you can hide, at least you can hide the hair, maybe I should say that, if, you're, if it's not too bad. Um, I don't recommend nobody to shave because shaving makes it worse unless you just have to, unless the hair is just like so unbearable to the point where it's just too much. But I don't shave. I shave one time in my life, you know what I'm saying? I shave one time in my life and I was getting them razor burns and shit. <laughs> so I stopped doing it. So give me another 10 minutes and I'll be back again. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the second coat off my face again. And let's see how much comes off. Um, still more hairs coming off, okay? And still more hairs coming. I don't think I need to do a third coat because I think I got it all already. Okay. So let me go in the light so y'all can see uh, the situation right here. So as you can see, um, the hair is gone. Um, nothing is on my face. Okay. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad this shit is gone. Uh, it's a little, I guess I could tweeze that part right there. But the shit is gone, okay? The shit is gone, thank God. All right? As you can see, I still, I have some on my neck, but it's not that bad, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna rinse it off. I'm gonna rinse it off right quick. Okay, so it's gone now. It's it's completely, you know what I'm saying, gone. You know, I could do a little tweezing to get the excessive hair off of my face, 
So now what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mix this uh, bentonite clay and I'm gonna use some apple cider vinegar with a wooden spoon and then I have my turmeric that I'm gonna add to the concoction. As you can see, that's the bentonite right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix some of this turmeric, turmeric with it. That should be enough for my face, honestly. And then when I mix it up, I'm gonna add, like I said, is apple cider vinegar, okay? So as you can see, it's the apple cider vinegar. I mean, I'm sorry. It is the um, bentonite clay um, mixed with the turmeric powder. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my apple cider vinegar. That should be enough. And I'm gonna mix it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. It's gonna turn into a paste. It's gonna turn into a paste. I may need to add some more apple cider vinegar to it. Okay. I may need to do that. Cause that's not enough. That's definitely not enough right there. So as you can see, it's starting to foam up a little bit. So, you know, once it starts foaming up, you definitely um, can, you'll definitely know that it's ready to um, go on your face, all right? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this mixture on my face right quick. Alright, so let me go ahead and um, put this on my face for about a good, I think it's like a good 12 minutes. What's up Instagram, what's up Facebook, it's your lady Steph. I'm over here doing a bentonite clay and turmeric um, facial. Um, I just got finished, you know getting rid of them hairs, okay? Get okay, y'all, so, all right. So I pretty much overextended um, my time uh, with this facial, I mean, with this clay. Been on my face for like a good hour and 20 minutes. So as you can say, my face is hard as a rock. I'm about to go ahead and wash this shit off. And then after that, I'm gonna use this soap. This is the black soap um, through, like I said, uh, Piona, okay. I'm gonna use that soap, wash my face off, and then after that, I'm gonna use this uh, avocado oil, grape seed, turmeric, and geranium oil. Um, this is the face serum. This is this is through Ancient Cosmetics. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash this turmeric off, okay. And this shit is so hard, you know what I'm saying? And I noticed that you definitely gotta like have some type of oil or a lotion or something to put on your face um, after you wash this shit off because your face will be extremely, when I say extremely dry, it's gonna be so dry to the point where your face gonna feel like um, a Brillo pad, all right? So I'm washing it off. So I finally washed this stuff off my face, okay? And um, as you can see, I know y'all can see a difference. Um, so I'm just pat drying my face. 
even my wrinkles, even my wrinkles on my eyelids are not so um, are not so visible now. So let me make sure this light in here is kind of dim. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and come here. As you can see, this is how my face look now. Um, you can see that I do have a little bit of, almost look like a rash on my skin um, after I uh, use this uh, stuff. Um, the, uh, what do you call it? The V. So I'm gonna put this oil on my face. And so that's pretty much it. So here's the facial. I know it might not look all that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it definitely did the job um, with the V. Got it off my, got the hairs off, you know what I'm saying? And um, my face looks so much better. It feels so much better. It's actually a little bit lighter um, after using that um, turmeric. That turmeric is powerful, y'all. So anyway, like this video, thumbs up, just spreading hirsutism awareness. Um, thumbs up, comment below. Uh, let me know what you think about, you know what I'm saying, my skin. Um, this is like my skin regimen. <laughs> I know the video was kind of ghetto, but you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. So I want to thank you all for watching. You all take care and have a good day. All right, deuces, bye.